You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. And today I have a new face for Greater Brockton. I have Leah Serafin from the YMCA. Yes. And the Y is very heavily involved, the, the lead organization mm -hmm. for the Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes event. Yes. Extravaganza. Mm -hmm. And being a city of champions, we're going to knock it out, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Now, I happen to be a diabetic. I'm a type mm -hmm. 2. I ended up older and no family history, mm -hmm. bad diet, mm -hmm. pizza, pasta, lo mein, yeah. rice, you name it, I ate it. Mm -hmm. Big downfall, ice cream, and sweet wine. <laughs> I don't do the desserts anymore. My wife knows how to make everything sugar-free. I don't do the alcohol. I'll do a low-carb beer. Mm -hmm. But I like bread, and mm -hmm. I like pasta, and I don't like brown stuff. So I just eat less of it, so mm -hmm. I'm careful. But you're gonna, there's going to be healthy dishes that fit your carb budget. Yeah. That yes. you're going to have the event. But the main event, the thing that starts and kicks off the whole week, mm -hmm. is the Leo McNeil yes. Family Fun Walk. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. Yeah, so the Leo McNeil Family Fun Walk is actually named after um, kind of the man who founded Brockton Knox Down Diabetes, Leo McNeil. He's from Harbor One. He was their former vice president of community relations, now retired, um, but he always shows up to the walk to support. Um, so Leo started Brockton Knox Down Diabetes back in 2011. Mm. Um, and since that time, we're in our seventh year now. Um, we've had the walk every year, followed by a whole week of events. Um, but I'll talk a little bit about the walk. So it's at Massasoit Community College. Um, and it starts at 8 AM. And um, we basically do a walk around uh, the campus. It's a really pretty campus. I think it's, um, it's right before graduation. So they do a really nice job kind of oh, yeah. making that campus look beautiful. So it's a really nice walk. And then right after the walk, um, we have Signature Healthcare's Health and Wellness Expo. So that runs from 9 AM to 12. And it's convenient because you can go from the walk right into the expo. They're both at Massasoit Community College, so it's perfect. Um, and the expo has a lot of different health and wellness vendors. Um, so it's a really, it's a fun day to kind of bring your family and get plenty of resources to just be a little bit healthier. And that is a busy day for us. We mm -hmm. have the walk, Mary Walden's doing her wiffle ball challenge, mm -hmm. and the Family Center is doing their social leadership conference. So mm -hmm. it's like, let's try to crazy be in three day. places at once. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> but I've done the walk every year. I've done it with Mike Molino from mm -hmm. the Charity Guild. He's yep. been my walking partner. Awesome. My wife's walked in it. Um, last year, we had a whole bunch of students from Southeastern Regional where I'm on the school yes. committee. Oh, and okay. I teach at Massasoit, so I'm glad awesome. it's at Massasoit. We've done the walk from Harbor One. We've done the walk at Westgate Mall. I like Massasoit because mm -hmm. it's self-contained. Exactly. You don't have to worry about traffic yeah, and exactly. stuff like it that. Yeah, exactly. It feels safe. Last year was a little rainy, but mm -hmm. it didn't scare us away. We mm -hmm. still did it. I had all those nursing students there. They, they were, were all. They were amazing. They'll be there again. And the mm -hmm. expo is amazing because there's a lot of good stuff there. Mm -hmm. You know, people can be tested. They can find out more information, get all the mm -hmm. brochures. Um, I found out, I was scared to death when I found out I had diabetes. And then mm -hmm. once I learned, I have a wonderful nurse practitioner who awesome. basically saved my life. Mm -hmm. My sugar was off the chart, and now I have it under control for the most part. Mm -hmm. For the most Very part, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not perfect. You but um, I, I mean, there's, there's good stuff here that you guys are doing. You got the, the diabetes beach ball toss. We've done that yes. before. We've covered that, and that's on Monday. Yes, so that will be on Monday. It's at the Brockton Adult Day Health Center. So that's always really fun. The Brockton VNA will be there, um, Old Colony Elder Services, and then the Council on Aging as well. So they have a big beach ball that has different facts about diabetes, and they throw it around, and whoever catches the ball um, kind of looks at where their hands land and what, um, what question their hand lands on, and then um, the VNA sort of talks them through um, that fact. So And that's happening in. twice. There's one on Monday, mm -hmm. and then there's also one on Thursday yes. over at uh, the South Shore Haitian Adult Day Health Center, which mm -hmm. is a very impressive place. Mm -hmm. I've gone to a bunch of events over there, yeah. and that's on Center Street. That's yes. on Thursday the 14th, 11 to 12. Mm -hmm. This is, I, I got to commend you looking at this. I know Jay's on the committee, mm -hmm. and you guys have done a great job of kind of slimming it down and making it a reasonable number mm -hmm. of events. When it was first happening, it was a lot. Yes. We actually covered almost every event that particular year. Awesome. We were like ripping our hair out because <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't have time to edit it all together. Mm -hmm. We did, but um, I'm looking at um, 
You have Daya Bingo. Oh, yeah. That's that, a good one over at the count. Um, that's at the Harbor, the Harbor New Harbor Health. Health. Yep, the new building. Yeah, yeah. so that'll be fun, too. That's um, put on by the Council on Aging and Caregiver Homes. So Daya Bingo is kind of what it sounds like, bingo focused on diabetes. And it's very appropriate because yeah. that used to be Temple Beth Amuna, and Temple mm -hmm. Beth had a bingo every week. So mm -hmm. the, the, the place is already all set up yeah, for exactly. it. exactly. <laughs> but what I like, what I found very interesting looking at this, this is a good one. Thursday the 14th, mm -hmm. healthy eating at the dollar store. That one's awesome. Talk about that. That's unique. Yeah. So we had that event last year too, and it was definitely well attended. It's at Training Resources of America. Um, so with that event, um, a woman from Old Colony Elder Services, Donna, she actually went to the dollar store before that amount. She bought everything from the dollar store and then um, she brought it all to Training Resources of America and just sort of talked about what the different items were that she bought. Um, there were some canned goods. Um, there was, I think, wheat bread. Um, there was water, some um, juice maybe that's low in sugar, things like that. And um, it was a really, it was an interesting event because she, she talked about what you can get at the dollar store and how um, not all, it doesn't mean you, you don't have to go to an expensive store right. to eat healthy, right. basically. Right, right. <laughs> um, and speaking of stores, you're going to have a supermarket tour over at Vincente's mm -hmm. on Friday the 15th from yeah. 1 to 2. Mm -hmm. Vincente's is a wonderful community partner. I know they Definitely. partner with the Neighborhood Health Center about healthy eating and stuff like that, mm -hmm. so it kind of fits in their mission. Yep. Um, you're going to have blood pressure and blood glucose screens, but what do you find out all this information? We have the handy dandy yeah. little brochure here, but you have a website and mm -hmm. you want people to register. Definitely. So tell us about that. So if you go on fourhealthycommunities.com slash BKDD, and it's F-O-R instead of the number four. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. You can get all your information there, but we also have a Facebook, Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes. If you search that, um, we have a PDF of the brochure here um, and we'll give out different lots of information throughout the week um, on that Facebook as well. But this brochure will be all over um, the Brockton community, so definitely and look for it. Sitting at all the Y locations, I would think, Better since be. the Y is <laughs> yes. located. And we have a bunch at our mm -hmm. counter here. Uh, hopefully they're over at our public library, yep. downtown library. There's a whole bunch of partners and sponsors, too many to name. Definitely. But this is a really a community partnership. All exactly. the different nonprofits and groups get together mm -hmm. and do it. And uh, seven years. I, mm -hmm. think, I think Leo will be proud. Will he be in the straw hat like he usually is? Oh, he usually so. has the straw hat. <laughs> I love Leo. He's a wonderful person. Uh, he and, yes. and he saw a problem that needed to be taken care of, and he yep. he worked on it. Exactly. So we're happy to help you promote it. We're Thank happy you. to be there. I'm happy to walk. And, uh, you. you know, people just have to be educated. Sometimes mm -hmm. I think if they're educated at a younger age, they might even prevent mm -hmm. being in the position that I'm in. Sometimes yeah. it's hereditary, and sometimes you cause it on your own. So one thing I do actually want to know is that, um, so this is a week of events, but we are working to make it a year-round initiative. Mm -hmm. One of the things we are doing is focusing more on prevention because that is something that's really important to us. So um, we've been working with local students um, in the schools and at the Boys and Girls Club and the Y to put together actually um, little recipes. Um, so that's we're, coming. <laughs> we're, bring, we're bringing you back and we can talk about yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thanks, Leah. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thanks for being <laughs> here. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.